So we're here at Disney Springs because I want to show you two things. There's a new bake shop opening up. It's Gideon's Bake Shop. If you haven't been to their Winter Park location, we'll talk about that in just a little bit. The second one is Everglaze Donuts. They're amazing, just big donuts with all kinds of specialties. So I'm gonna start my morning off with a cold brew and a donut. Let's take a look. Dude, it's such a beautiful morning. Right? All right, so Everglades Donuts is over by the Orange Garage, and right now they've got the area shut down over by AMC, so you gotta kinda come back around. Uh, but they open at nine o'clock right now, so they're really open before anybody else here, so you can get your coffee and get your donuts. I'm excited to take a look, come on. Usually the other day I was here, there was like a big line, so there's like a virtual queue, how does that work? The virtual queue, so you would come to one of our cast members and you would um, give us your name and how many people in your party. Okay. Um, and then we would give you about like an approximate wait time um, based on like the number of people in the line. Cool, and how long has it been typically waiting for people? Um, when I have been working, it's been probably like at most an hour and a half. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Yeah. We're just opened up and there's really no line, so that's kind right, of that. Right, 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 cool. It's obviously the middle of the week too, so that's a little bit different. Yeah. Cool. Thank you so much. So if you guys have seen my donut review, you know my favorite donut place in all of Orlando is Donut King. There's a lot of other DG Donuts. What's the other one we did? DJ Donuts. Well, we did one in Voodoo Universal, Donut. Yeah. yeah, Voodoo Donuts. And then this is the place here in Disney Springs, obviously. So we started off with the classic glazed because I think that's a good comparison. We'll see how it does. It's very thick. I like the cakey. Yeah. I think Donut King is probably still a little bit better, but in terms of like, the cakiness, this is gonna fill you up. Super good. If cold brew, awesome. All right, let's try this uh, bacon on a donut. I'll let you know. <laughs> Pretty good? It's super good. She's right. Kind of like, you yeah, like pancakes and pancakes and bacon for, the, for breakfast on a donut. It's all one word. What do you think, mm. Captain mm. Crunch? That's my favorite donut ever. What? Your favorite donut ever? Yeah, dude, the, the Casting Crunch adds a lot of it. Delicious. All right, so the assortment is super good. The cold brew is really good. The donuts are about $4.50 for an individual, and obviously you get better pricing as you go up. Uh, but I think it's great. A great, good addition to what's going on at Disney Springs. There's a couple other things coming here too, on top of Gideon's, which is open. There's a new M&M shop. There's Wonder Made Marshmallow Factory coming in. There's a lot of like sweet, little cool places here. So if you have a sweet tooth, Disney Springs is probably where you wanna come hang out. Yeah, yeah, so the NBA experience. So whether you're into basketball, like NBA or not, I mean, it's a really cool place. You can go in there, uh, shoot free throws, like on the on the court, but then you also have like, they have this area where you grab a basketball, pull it back and shoot it up into the air. Um, they have this whole like bay, these different bays where you're shooting like this, scan your body. they will say, okay, if this is how an NBA player shoots their ball. It's pretty cool. It's like definitely not just like a shop, which most people think it's like, oh, you're just buying NBA swag or you're eating. It's like an interactive experience, which is really cool. So we're gonna go take a look at Gideon's before they open up here at 10 o'clock. When the first day that they opened a couple days ago, they had a virtual queue, and I think they're gonna do that pretty much throughout the pandemic. The moment they opened the virtual queue, they had a nine hour wait. And so that's to get cookies, which I'll be honest with you, I'm a fanboy of Gideon's to begin with. Like I'm not gonna sit there and try to grade them because I'll already tell you, they're the best cookies in Orlando. They're freaking a half pound cookie for like four or five bucks at the original location. Their original concept was basically they would make a certain amount of cookies and cakes for the day. Once they're sold out, they would close. So sometimes they would close at five or six in the afternoon. Sometimes they were sold out by two in the afternoon. People from all over would drive to Gideon's to pick these up for gifts and different things like that. That's how good they are. So Steve, the owner, saw that concept was catching on. I mean, the guy's got like, as of today, 80,000 followers on Instagram. They're very Instagrammable in terms of the location and the cookies. So enough talking, let's go take a look. I'm 
just gonna get the uh, the original. Oh, coffee toffee. Oh gosh, we might have to get a couple. I'm curious, so you guys were doing like a virtual queue before. How, how has that changed from, from this, I guess? So right now we only do our virtual queue once our line hits about the STK sign. <laughs> and then yeah, so that sign over there in front yeah. of homecoming. So then we start about a two hour wait. Mm -hmm. But until then we just do a standby. Like, like the yesterday we didn't start our virtual queue until about 3.30. Yeah. It was about a two hour and a half wait. It's not too crazy. Friday we had a four hour wait. Saturday we had an 11 hour wait. Sunday we had a six hour wait. So people pop in, get in the yeah. virtual queue, go back to the parks, Go dinner, come back. go do whatever they gotta do, you know, yeah. something like that. That's cool. So like normally we only have like, like today, we're in slow season. So MLK was like the last day of Disney's peak season mm -hmm. before we spring break. Mm -hmm. And so right now we're in that slow season where not a lot of people are gonna be. We're still gonna be busy because we're kind of new and popular, but we won't be starting the virtual queue these days until like later in the afternoon when nice. everybody comes and stuff. Cool man, cool. thank you so much. For sure. Yeah, thank you. All right, let's check this out. So one of the things they tried here, they've got this uh, this icing dip for your cookie. I'm down with it. The toffee. This is the coffee toffee? That's the coffee toffee. That's oh, the geez. original with a little bit of salt on there. It's like my favorite. And then this one I haven't tried before. This is the peanut butter chocolate, which she said to pair with the peanut butter icing. So I think that's the one we got to start with. Oh yeah. All right, here we go. Mm. Oh my god. I'm gonna try it out. Dude, I've had way too many sweets today. You and me both. What do you think? Are you dipping for the OG? For the OG, yeah. Ken likes to live life on the edge. <laughs> My diet, how I lost so much weight, I eat a couple of these a day. <laughs> <laughs> Last one. All right, coffee toffee, let's go. Yeah, it's okay. That's my least favorite of the three. My original is the best. That's why they make it every day. And then it's the uh, the peanut butter after that. And then it's gotta be the coffee toffee after that. Uh, so these cookies are six bucks a piece. They are huge and there's probably no way you're finishing them by yourself. So it's definitely something that you could share with somebody. They have cold brew, they've got cake in there. The cake changes every day to like new stuff. So make sure you follow them on Instagram because they're gonna put out kind of like what's coming for the day a lot of times. So listen, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's obviously a little bit something different. Disney Springs continues to grow. They're just putting in new stuff. It's an amazing part of what makes living in Orlando, living in Orlando. It's having stuff always changing, always coming in new. I love it. So listen, make sure you hit that subscribe button as we're putting out new videos every single week on life here in Orlando. And if you're looking to buy or sell, I'd love to be your real estate resource of choice. So make sure you reach out. My number's 407-717-0197 or shoot me an email at ken at posergroup.com. We'll see you guys on the next video.